we made 1 mil, 2 mil, 2.5 mil from 4 scale runs. I don't know a quick, simple, and easy way to make millions in Tarkov with little to no risk? Well, let me tell you. And no, it's not streets. It's scaving on reserve. I've made anywhere around 500k on a bad run, and sometimes even over a million. The best part, you don't even need to go down to the bunkers. On a good run, you can loot two buildings and get out with nearly 1 million rubles worth of loot. So if you ever die in raid and waiting for your buddy to grab your loot and extract, you can try this real fast, real simple loot run to give you some extra cash. This is a map of reserve, and the two buildings I emphasized earlier are these two, White Bishop, known as Hospital, and Black Bishop, also known as School. Our main two extracts are going to be Hole in the Wall by the Mountains, which is on the far right of the map, and Checkpoint Vents down below the dome. In the case that you don't get either, which should be quite rare, your other options for extracts are Heating Pipes located up here, and Depot Hermetic Door, which is located at the bottom of this building here. Now to show you each individual spawn of loot, I did two scav runs during the day, and two scav runs during the night. As I go through, I'll show you all the different loot spawns in the two buildings. One thing to note is with the introduction of dynamic loot, not all boxes, duffels, and crates will spawn. Another big thing I want to emphasize is filing cabinets. People are lazy and don't like to go through them, so oftentimes you'll find some good loot in there such as diaries and intel. I do see people drop insurances like around these corners so you can check for them. The duffel bag that spawns here, not all the time, but I've gotten multiple aces and vertexes and just in that duffel bag. Because we have a small bag, probably just gonna move pretty quickly, loot the... Uh, probably go straight to Black Bishop. There are weapon and grenade spawns here. If you do want to check, I'll take the vodka, it's probably worth still. It's usually sitting at like 35,000. Yeah, there's like grenades and weapon parts and ammos and stuff here that doesn't seem to be at the moment. There are duffel bags and two jackets in here. Uh, there's, there could be up to three, one, two, and three. jackets yeah you can loot black knight which is the one over there i usually don't i don't think it's really worth it it's quite often hit by other scares as well another weapon spawns not weapons but weapon parts spawns yeah this could be worth taking but we have a small bag so i'm just gonna ignore, ignore it So this is Black Knight here, you can loot it if you want, there's like crates and stuff. There's weapon crates, I think med crates in there? And food spawns. Loot this, I might take this. This is just free space really. That one's hurt. So this is king, if you need food spawns, like if you need Ishkra spawns, like early wipe, you can come here and look for them. There are food spawns here, and then duffel bags, which I'm not going to check. I usually don't loot here, there are med spawns in here if you need, but better off coming as a PMC. This is white bishop, uh, if you go down this way it will take you towards the bunker. Ammo spawn. There can be up to like four M uh, weapon spawns, weapon box spawns here. There's one here, two, one, two, and four. Usually there's one, two, three here, so. Do come in here and check. Um, we're gonna go straight up here. There's a drop down which is like often not looted. You just come up to the roof, and if you turn right, there's a hole. Which is locked off. The bigger rig. 
we'll take the canted and group because that's like 100k last night then to get out you just come up crouch look down and you can get out you can loot these there are med spawns there but small bag so i don't really mind there's better spawns in black bishop which is this one here but what I usually do is before I head to Black Bishop, I'll go this way and check the weapon box and weapon part spawns, which is over here. It can be looted, it might not be. It depends. Look, it hasn't been. Is that PP? Okay, that's in Black Pawn. What's going on? Um, there's probably someone doing kill scavs in the barracks. So that one and that one, if you ever need to do that quest. These, there's food spawns and stuff here, like sugar can spawn and stuff, which is worth as the late, as the wipe goes on. But because there's shooting in there, we won't. And usually what you want to do is you want to loot everything here. Island cabinets, PCs, pretty much everything. And as you go, just pick up everything, and then you can drop stuff as you go, and then min-max your loot. Um, there won't always be stuff in all the rooms, but even then, there's quite a bit. There's not time. There's three duffel bag spawns here. I don't know if it was always the case, but it's usually always three. The hot rod. It's a flashlight, but I'm not gonna bother taking it. The duffel bag. Ratchet. There will be a couple of filing cabinets like um, all over this building. Loot the filing cabinets. Most people don't hit the filing cabinets, especially PMCs, because everyone's already down at the bunkers. It is really, really good. I found three intels on this building once. Kind of crazy. Here, yeah, there's another PC block. Another PC block here. I do know someone who constantly pulls GPU out of this, GPUs out of this one. Um, fairly common. PSUs are, might be worth. I don't know if you recall. Um, there's some random spawns here. Another PC block. nothing in here. This room seems to be fairly empty all the time, but it is what it is. Weapon attachments. Yeah. These are kind of worth taking. On, on Depending on the time of the flea market, this will go anywhere between 15k to 10k. But at the moment, there's no point grabbing it because it's not worth dropping anything out. A free gun. Eight spawns in this room. If you do find like the TP 200s, they're always like 20, 20k to therapist. Sometimes they go for a little higher, sometimes they go for a little low on the flea. So if you do, check the times. I usually don't pick up the GL ammo. They don't bend off it too much, I don't think. Grenade. Two medical bags here. Yeah, there can there can be one on the floor. 
but I don't think I've ever seen three. Drop there as much. Like there's one there sometimes. It's a grizzly. Hmm. Grizzly is only 30k, so it's not really worth. That's got SP6 in it. Hold on. We'll drop the SP6. Well, oh, there's actually quite a bit. That was a full mag of SP6. Ammo spawn here. There's ammo spawns here, I'm pretty sure as well. Did we run this way? Yeah, we did. Uh, we go up to the third floor. There is a drop down room just right here. We'll go, at, we'll go to that at the end, because we have to leave after that. Maybe suppressors aren't worth much. The round glasses are worth more than the goggles. Let's get... Do that to free up some space. These wooden crates don't always spawn. But look out for them if they do. Box, yeah. Um, the drop down is also in this building, so we'll come back to that in a bit. There are sometimes like weapon parts and grenade box here. Not this time around, I don't think. It's just random spawns here as well. There's a couple tech spawns, but you get stuff like pliers and stuff like that. So if you do need pliers, come here. Um, there is a, I think it's here, there's a double food spawn, which isn't at the moment. Like you'll see two, two foods just stacked there. It's more text like it's not tech spawns, it's you get like wrenches and stuff like that. The PC block in here. I haven't found anything good in this PC yet, but PC I think every PC block is a spawn of chancing a chance of spawning GPUs, so it's worth checking in my opinion. I'll drop that for this. Then there's another PC block. No, I lied. There's a weapon box here. Yeah? That weapon box doesn't always spawn, but this wooden one usually always does. Um, you'll need that glasses for a quest at some point, but that's super early on if you need it. Take it, if you don't, it's all good. The really weapon box is in here this time around. Very nice. Mm. It's fine, I won't take that. Okay, we're gonna go back and go to the drop down. So, just come up to this window and then jump, drop down, and you can come in here. That's the block door on the second story. Yes, lamps. Prices fluctuate a lot, but it's worth taking. There's a lot of barters for it and stuff. Two PC blocks here. There can be like high tier loot spawns in here, it seems like there's none or someone already came through. Um, but I think it's worth checking because a lot of people are lazy, so. It's the block door, just to get out, just come out this way. And then drop down. Yeah, we have checkpoint fence and hole in the wall by the mountains. Checkpoint fence is over that way, we can go out that way if, um, if you want to. But we're probably going to go out in the hole in the wall, which is over this way. You come out and then just keep running along this way. It's right there. You'll, you'll, you'll kind of figure it out. It's like the break in the fence over there. If you're really down bad on loot after looting the black bishop and white bishop, you can loot the two pawn buildings. Um, start from the top down, because most people usually don't loot the top. 
Um, but yeah, you can loot, up loot there if you if you feel like you have a big bag and haven't found a lot of bishop. If you really want to like maximize ruble potential, take everything with you into stash and then sell it. But what I'm gonna do is grab the important stuff. Um, security vests are good to pick up because it's six slots, takes up six slots, and they sell for anywhere between. 15 to 25k on the fleet depending on demand. I'll take that. Then take the guns. Then I just sell all defense just just for space sake. I don't have bags taking up space and whatnot. Okay, so we got 130k from vendoring. We'll just wait for everything to sell. I'll just collect these now. Okay, 400k. So slightly on the low end. Not gonna lie. Um, but we had a small rig and small bag, so it's unfortunate. That's 400k. Put it down here so we can do like a final check at the end. Alright, take two. Where do we spawn? Oh, we spawn on this side. Okay. You can loot in the train stations if you want. I tend to not, because there is a chance that Gluha can be there. And I, I just can't be bothered. Trying to see if he's there or not. Rather take the safe route, it's along the back here, yeah, and then you just go around to Bishop. So there's a weapon spawn, a weapon crate spawn here. Five, seven. And then there can be another one here. Through the front. Can be like stim spawns up here and over here. Can be ammo spawns here, um, weapon attachment spawns here, but there's none this time around. There's food spawns and stuff here that you can check. Th there's four here. There's four ration supply crates. It's usually always worth checking, in my opinion. Especially if you need food. And like, if you have a big bag like this, you can always grab stuff and you can drop them later. As you min-max min your loot. Check out. There is a medical spawn here. I fact, you can have like other stuff, like stems and whatnot. And down here, check the weapons box. Now I can drop this car and put this for space sake. This is not a bad handguard. You can take uh, pistol grip. You can take it if you want. I'm not going to. It's not worth taking. Uh, there can be up to three weapon crates here. There's usually always two. Sometimes there's three. You can check this. It's a little risky, but it's worth it to check sometimes. There's sometimes one down here, and then there's this one here. Does this give me extra space? No, it doesn't. Keep it anyway. Put the sugar in there. Um, coffee in there. That coffee in there. Um, it doesn't matter which side you go in through. I usually pick and choose depending on the extract, so it's up to you. I might spawn there. Pick this PC. There might be people fighting underneath.
think someone's looting in here. Oh, we got a diary. I don't know if there's a person or not. I'm gonna keep looting. If we die, we're dead. Hopefully not, though. Paracle. Um, I'm gonna drop these two. When it comes to min min-maxing loot, it's kinda hard to tell you what to take and what not to take. Uh, I'm sure there's plenty of videos that you can check out, but it also depends on the time of day and what the time of wipe, depending on what's in demand and what's not. I think someone's in the bunkers. People are getting murdered, it seems. Like there's the duffel bags in here. Can't tell what ammo that has. Um, drop the pack of screws. Oh, I dropped the suppressor by accident. That's a sc oh my goodness. He comes around the corner and shoots me, I'm gonna cry. Andrew, not worth taking. There's like two more duffel bags that didn't spawn this time around. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. Filing cabinets. Always, always worth checking. Oh, I should probably take that. Um, also when you're looting, have like keep in mind of the things you're going to start dropping if you start having things of higher value, like screws, AA batteries, blood sets, cigarettes. Like you have a small idea of what you're going to drop as you go if you do find something better. Up second floor. Alkali, it can be worth taking. The prices fluctuate quite a bit, so still end up taking it. Actually, I can put this on here. Another PC block here. Duffel bag. It doesn't always spawn, but it is there. Can be uh, spawns here. Duffel bag spawn. Why not? Because I do enjoy that anime. We, we already looted this. Put in crate, file another filing cabinet that you can loot. I'll probably drop the cigarettes next. Oh, actually, I'll drop the Ishkras next. RVST, we can actually hit that on the way if we want to. It is also a quest key. RBRS, I won't take that one. I don't actually know if it's good or not. Our bank is good vendor money. Is this wooden crate here? Anything spawned here? No. It's medium.
That's got SP6 in it, I think. That mag on its own is worth taking. Oh, it's got BP. That mag on its own is worth taking, so we'll, hold, we'll just hold on to it. There's a Cobra. Can't put it on anything. You could put attachments on it later, but not at the moment. Get the grenades in here. You can find TNT. It's pretty good money. You can take these, you can't sell them on the flea. It's impact grenades. So it's totally up to you. Um, I'm gonna drop this for that. Probably drop this next, and then drop the alkali after. If you do want to use impact grenades, you can always pick them up. I find them quite a bit here. I don't, and you don't really. It doesn't really sell on the. It, you don't sell it on the flea, so really up to you. Oh, whoopsie. Yes. Another grenade case here. I can open it. Vaseline. And then NACL is pretty well. We'll drop the gas analyzer. It's mostly just a quest item. It'll hover anywhere between 10 to 15k, so it's not worth the two slots in my opinion. The grizzly. Up the deep cleaner. And we'll drop... Drop the ammo. Hopefully we don't get shot at. Uh, that looks like 995. SAP. 26 rounds, it's probably not worth. It is good 556 five, ammo, it's not 995. 995 is different ammo. Didn't see that one there. Not worth. We looted this side, right? Yeah. We'll go up to the third floor. If there's any wooden crates, that's one. There can be three. One here, one here, one there. Oh, so the building we went last time, the drop down is this one here. I'm pretty sure there is a key for it, but it's kind of pointless. You can get in without it. If anything spawned here, there's weapon attachments and stuff other that can spawn here. Um, adrenaline vendors for quite a bit. I don't think it's worth dropping over anything. I think we'll drop it over the suppressor. I don't think it goes for too much. pliers and stuff, if you ever need them, they're here. PS ammo, um, the weapon crate didn't spawn this time around, but there's two more here. did loot um, the heli and stuff. I'm pretty sure there was a filing cabinet here, but I haven't seen it in a, quite a long time now. Which makes me believe they might have taken it away. Oh, I'm just crazy. Let's check drop down. I think someone may have, may have already hit this. I 
think someone's already hit this. Um, we can get our checkpoint fence. What's our time looking like? I might check, since we have the RBST key, then we might as well just check on the way. Got a big bag too, so we can min, min max the loot quite a bit. You can loot these if you want. It is an option. What I'm about to do is a little risky, but do it anyway. It's up time 14. That's a scab. Just with a big bag. Can be a weapon box here. On back here. Hmm. These PP rounds are. Kind of, they do sell on flea. For like a thousand a round. It's like 25,000. RBST hasn't been opened. Duffel bag hasn't spawned. Can spawn like aces and vertexes. Ammo. There's usually a weapon crate back here, but not this time around. This is not lootable, it seems. Nate spawn here. We'll see if there's a box on top of the truck bed. This key might be a bit of a bust. Another one here. People don't check this often. If it's open, come in and see if they've looted this. People miss this all the time for some reason. Um, drop the power supply. Yeah, no, loot was a bit... A bit underwhelming. Not gonna lie. You need you need to uh, you need this key for a quest because you have to mark that tank uh, for revision. That is there. Got grenade and food spawns here if you want to check or ammo. And so here we'll check for the duffel bags that spawn. Only two of them. worth keeping the slickers if you want to do the scare fest barter. If you ever want to use them for crafting and stuff. Seems someone's already been here. I don't like the sound of that so I'm just gonna leave. So this is checkpoint. Oh my god. I'm just gonna cut in here and say yes, I killed a scav, and as we all hate scav on scav violence, it's something I should be more careful of. He did look quite geared, and my initial reaction to seeing the RFB was, oh, it's a PMC. So, my bad. I'm sorry for killing you if you're ever here. Um, I try my best to be nice to other, other scavs as well. Same goes to you. Uh, Tarkov is a scary place, so be nice to people. Um. 
Oh. I really thought that was a player. I got scared. So we'll just get out. That was a bit of, bit of my mistake. I do not condone scab on scab violence. I apologize for shooting that guy. Please. Okay. That raid made us nearly a mil. 590,000. Oh, God. 900k. See if no, this won't take us over. But that's that. That, that's last raid. This is this raid. So we now we, we just made uh about 1.3 mil. My bad. Since we have the space, we'll grab everything. 190k from vendoring. 430k from total. Um you can max a bit more, but it's fine. Oh, I'll just grab this as well. About 460k. Um, I'm just gonna sell these all. You'll probably get a lot more, like the knife on its own is worth like 10k, but it's all good. Buying it outright is cheaper, if that is, that is, then you can do right where you like. Yeah, we haven't really sold everything, but it's not going to give us a whole bunch more. So roughly 700k from that raid. Um, out of the four raids. So, how much did we make in total? If we just put them all together. We made 1 mil, 2 mil, 2.5 mil from four scab runs. If we do say we made too much money from because we killed a scab and you don't want to kill scabs, we'll just take out this 400k and say two mil. So about 500k per run, you can obviously go more. Um, and sometimes if you find really high value items, you'll start pushing uh, 750k to a mil. I usually push around 750k per raid pay for like two of my kits if I happen to die a lot that day um, and you can once you're comfortable up top you can start going down to the bunkers and stuff like that now I know this isn't the most amount of rubles you can make especially on this map if you know your way around the bunkers you can definitely make a lot more but from my experience this has been one of the most consistent ways to make money with little to no risk so feel free to try it out yourself let me know how it went and I hope this video helped